Hello everyone! So recently, I decided to replay Pokemon Black as it's one of the best Pokemon games. However, as I was about to play, I realized something. It's not going to be interesting enough. Pokemon games are kind of one and done for me. I play them, I beat them, can't wait for the next game! So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do a Nuzlocke. But I didn't think that was enough. I randomized the game and decided to do a Nuzlocke of that. In case you don't know, a Nuzlocke is probably the most popular Pokemon challenge, maybe outside of completing the Pokedex. The Nuzlocke has three simple rules. Number one, you must give a nickname to every Pokemon you catch. Number two, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each area. And number three, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and must be either released or put in the PC forever. Also, the randomizer pretty much randomized everything. The Pokemon I encounter, the the Pokemon the trainers have, the trainer names and classes, level up moves, TMs, items found on the field, abilities, all random. So, did the challenge go well? Well, let's find out. We're playing the new Digimon game. Or wait, sorry, it's not the Digimon, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh wait, no, is it Yokai Watch? I think we're playing Yokai Watch, actually. Yeah, we're playing Yokai Watch, that's what this is. Alright, we'll start a new game. Now time to mash buttons fast. Are you a boy or a girl? Um. I'm guy. We'll just name ourselves Poke. Alright. Got it. Alright, these are my friends. I don't care, honestly, about them. You know, I, I, I just don't care. I know what Pokemon are. Spring? It, it's literally the middle of September. It's not spring. Throw the Pokemon. They were delivered to Poke's house, so Poke gets f first pick. Naturally. Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. You go first and take a peek. We gotta do, we gotta do the most important thing. And that's setting the text speed to fast. I know it says it makes it look like we have a Snivy, Tepic, and Oshawa, but as soon as I press anything, it'll be different. We got an actual starter! Weasel. Clink. Wait, did I- I think I forgot- Mess something up with the randomizer. I think I was supposed to set it so that it could be literally any any Pokemon, but I think it was set to just only being um first evolution Pokemon. I guess I'll go with Totodile. Everyone chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. And here, now let's have a Pokemon battle. We have to let them battle so it'll get stronger. It's still a po good ready for a Pokemon battle. Oh wait, I, I didn't agree to anything. I don't. I didn't agree to assault on my pet. Botanist. Botanist Sonya with the Weasel. Skull Bash and Try Attack. We're going with Try Attack on this. The music's good in this game. I like this game. It's cool, it's fun, it's awesome, I like it. Whew! I was mashing that button fast. That that's what like a year of Undertale running does to you. You you can mash buttons. Least tornado. Poggers! Oh god, we messed up the room. Wow, Poke, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Oh, I'm um, sorry about your room. It's fine, my, my my actual room probably isn't that far off of this. Okay, obviously that's sarcasm, but, you know, ignore it. You are completely hopeless! Jeez! Yeah, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Sad, you'll be my Pokemon for the- You'll be a, my opponent for the, for, in our first Pokemon battle. Alright, hold on. I, I want to see something. I need to check something. I have this tool which can measure how fast I'm mashing buttons. I, I used it back in like my Undertale, Undertale speedrunning days. Let's see what my po- Let's see what you could do to my Pokemon. Alright. Tristian. Tristan. Botanist Tristian. Alright, we got a clink up in here. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't think any of our moves will be super effective or good. That's 10 keys that I'm pressing in a second, dude. Ow, my head hurts now. Oh, oh, I accidentally pressed a button. Alright, get, get screwed. Very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. God damn it, mom. I know how everything works. Now, if you're going out, don't forget, don't forget your cross transceiver. Cool. All right, see ya, mom. I'll see ya in like, like 
four months or something. I don't know, a lot of seasons go by, so I'll see you in like a year. No, no, a thousand types, no. But I'm, I'm a good trainer, I got a Pokemon and everything, I could totally go on an adventure. Just leave. When do I get running shoes in this game? I forgot. I hope I get the running shoes soon. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. My name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. You know, they just kind of like, popped into existence, and I'm just wasting my life. And I'm just using this as an excuse. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Oh yeah, uh, I said this in the intro, I believe. Um, but rule number one, you must nickname every Pokemon you get. Uh huh. I see, are you okay with the name Croc? Is it- is its name? It's such a great name. Poke, Sharon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex. Nah. Here's what I need from you. What I- what I want of all creatures, blah 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 blah, I want you to travel to distant places and meet all the Pokemon in the universe. I don't even get a choice. Your choices don't matter, it's literally Deltarune. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer, exactly as I have always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me your, the best possible answer. Yeah, because I couldn't give another answer. What's the point of giving us a question that we can answer? Like, a yes or no, will you do this for me? Why ask us if you're gonna make- require us to say yes? I'll call the Pokedex. Looks like a- this looks like a candy bar. Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I like that. Of course, we could travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. You know, I should probably, like, tr also try to figure out what I want to- uh, God damn it, Mom! She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was gonna ask. That's why I brought the th you three. Uh, that's why I brought you three of these town maps. I can't freaking read, dude. <laughs> Got a square. Look, it's this way. I know where to go, dude. Oh my god. I'm not stupid. If we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Alright, here we go. On two. One, two. Hey, what did it? I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? Okay, I got a question. These kids, well, they definitely look pr like teenagers. Have they, have they really not stepped even a single foot outside of town? Like, how? Sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. There's like no stores. How are you supposed to get food? You need to step out. Also, these games are good. If you haven't played Gen 5 yet, play them. I don't think they're that expensive on, like, Amazon or eBay. And if you're too cheap to do that, you know, there's always emulators, like what I'm doing for the randomizer. Did you see that just now? Here's how it would go step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon are that still have all of their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And now, uh, wrap this up. Yeah, yeah, we got some balls. Oh, wait, the Nuzlocke starts now. Yeah, Nuzlocke start, uh, once you officially get the pokeball so if i had lost like the the first one of the first two battles you know it wouldn't matter I wouldn't have to restart and re-randomize everything now is when everything starts i'll go on ahead and wait for you in the cumulative town wait a minute hey listen i thought it was something fun but we need to get going i'm imagining the pokemon professor's waiting would you just listen for a sec i don't see you could catch the most pokemon the person carrying the most pokemon including the one received from professor juniper is the winner Oh, actually, that sounds interesting. It'll fill up our Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the professor, too. Okay, then, on the way we reach Cumulative Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. And your Snivy will do the best for sure. You don't have a Snivy. You are you got, like, a... Weasel or something, I'm pretty sure. Also, Nuzlocke rule number two. I literally can only catch the first Pokemon I find. And the catching tutorial does not count, alright? Some people... People bring up, uh, the, the catching tutorial was when you first saw a Pokemon, so thus you can't catch us. Ah! Oh! Oh! Okay, you know, I, wa I want you. Alright, attack it. Leaf Blade, yikes. Yikes. Uh. Uh, one more should do. As long as we don't burn it. If we burn it. We're in trouble. Okay, cool. 
Alright, just stay. What did I just ask? What did I just ask? Stay in the ball. Oh, Dude. Dude, if I... Yeah, is it even worth it? I could survive one more rock slide. And then I'd have to kill this guy for experience. Ah, damn it! Aw, oh, damn it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, dude? Already! The first wild Pokemon we fail! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me? Alright, you know, sc screw this video game, you know, it- it- <laughs> So what did I learn from this challenge? Well, a few things. Number one, Nuzlocks are harder than I thought. Number two, RNG is stupid sometimes and there's nothing you can do about it. And number three, I'm just an idiot. I might do another attempt with this game, but I'll let you guys decide if I should. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching.